All right, so shut it off for a minute. Like, okay, set your bucket down and level to the ground. All right, so you have two things. You have this right here, which is not quite, well, both. Not quite level yet. You can see this tab. This is a little bit behind. Okay, and then you have at the same time, if you come back here, you have the end of the silver rod, and I rotated it to match the cut shape of the orange. So the orange is cut at a 45 degrees, it's like a half circle. So lift up a little bit and curve the, curl the bucket. So you can see right now the bucket should be pointing up a little bit, and if you come over here, the bucket is. So with the bucket at the ground level, this is back, and this is back. So if you rotate it forward to line this up, okay, right there, you have lined up this, and you have the bucket now square to the ground. Now what I was talking about, as you rotate the loader arm up into the air and you don't touch the bucket, this stays put, but as you rotate, let me go to the other side, as you lift up, you see this angle changing. That is not reflected in this. This is still in alignment, this tab and this tab, but as he lifts the arms up, go ahead, lift up higher. So, if he runs this back with this orange tube level, that bucket will become level. So, I'm going to go to the side. You level this right here. Now, he's going to make the silver rod match that orange rod and stop. So, there, he's done that. So, when you're up in the air and you do that, this one no longer is valid because he had to curl the bucket when he's when he's not at ground at tire level. He had to curl the bucket to correct this piece right here. So as he moves down or he moves up, as long as he keeps this in alignment, no matter what height he's at, that bucket is going to stay level. So come down slow and try to keep that level, that pin. So he can see what correction he needs to make as he drops down. And he can go all the way up to the top, go as high as you can go, watching that end of that lever, and he could work his way all the way up, keeping the bucket pretty close to level as he goes. If he watches it. <laughs> okay, so are you level? All right. Now to me, it looks like you're slightly uphill facing. Like, it looks like your bucket's facing uphill a little bit. So right there, yes, all right. So so he's he's at whatever maximum height is. That's uh, I don't know. I'm guessing somewhere around six and a half feet. Okay. So yeah, keeping this keeps it you know almost perfectly level, and you can see that bracket when he's at height is way off. But again, if you go back down to the ground, both are going to agree with each other. So go back down to the ground. And as he comes down, all right. So you're let you're all level. Okay, pretty close. So now he's sitting pretty close. Now the bucket looks a little bit high, and if you look here. It is just a little bit high right here. Let me look here. You're a little bit high there. Yeah, and he's sticking out right there. Okay, there, now he's level there. 
Now he's almost perfectly level there. I might have that adjustment off a little bit. And as you can see now, the bucket is level to the ground. So what you want to do, shut that off. So what I did, I went onto a flat blacktop driveway. Yeah, and right now it's a little low. What is? I'm oh, the bucket down, might be actually down downhill a little bit, yeah. So I, I, you, you take the jam nut loose right here, the bottom one. You loosen this bolt here. When you loosen both of them, this rod, this, this metal rod, which is going up into this tube, you can slide this rod back and forth. You can twist it in circles. So you want to you know, twist it so that it matches the cut shape of this orange. Slide that rod where you want to get it. And you can leave this nut backed off. Sorry, leave this nut backed off. You can run this down to lock that rod into that position. Then the lock nut is pushing on the washer and locking this bracket. So you can slide this bracket back and forth to put it where you want in relation to this. So on a perfectly level ground, bucket laying flat on the ground in alignment with the tires, this should be in alignment. And this and this should be in alignment down at ground level. Anytime you're in the air, you stop looking at this when you're up in the air and you basically look only at this piece right here. But you have a dual verification when you're sitting down on level ground right here. So that's all it is, is this is the only adjustment point you have. You have the bolt that bears down on this rod and then you have the lock washer that bears down on this silver bracket. And that's all that you do, nothing more.